This math task is about constructing a square with a variable slider for a side. I'm Linda Falberg Stoyanovska. Our website is at math247.pbworks.com. And this math cast is made exclusively with the freeware GeoGebra, which you can download at geogebra.org. Let's get started. We want to make a square whose bottom left corner is at 0, 0, whose sides are parallel to the axes, but whose actual side value is controlled by a slider. So the, the length of its side can be changed using a slider. What kind of values can the slider take on? Well, they have to be positive values in order for it to be a square. and we the biggest square we can have is 5 here, so let's make a slider with values from 0 to 5. So we go get our slider tool, go and click on it, and then click anywhere up here. There we go. We're going to name our slider S for side. So type S, the A is replaced, and then we can't have negative values for a side, so we're going to click there and erase the minus 5 and type in 0. So we've changed S and 0, and now apply. There's our slider. So we can see our square. We're going to click on the Move button. And now we can click and drag the button to say 3. And if we click on the line, we can move the slider. We're going to move it over here a little bit in the corner. So now our slider value is S equal to 3. Where do we want to put our points? Well, our first point we said we're going to put at 0, 0. So we take the New Point tool and click down here at 0, 0. Now, suppose that we were going to just make a square of side 3. Our next point would be over to the right 3. 1, 2, 3. We've moved horizontally 3 and vertically 0 h before v. So this point would be 3, 0, and we can see it right underneath our, right to the right of our cursor. But we don't want it to be 3 all the time. We want it to take on the value that s is. So we're going to make it s, 0. We can't click on s, 0. It's not here. So we go down to the input bar and click. We've gotten down here. And now we're going to move our cursor off and type parenthesis for a point, s, a comma, and 0. So instead of typing 3, 0, we're going to type s, 0. We're going to use the letter s and hope that that moves the point left and right. So let's hit enter. And we see that it says 3, 0 here. But if we put our mouse on top of it, it says s, 0. So now if we click on the move button and move s, back and forth. Look, down here B moves. So we move this and we're going to put it back at 3 and there it is. Now what would be the coordinates of the top right point if it was fixed? We would have moved 3 horizontally and then 3 vertically so it would be 3, 3. But since we want it to change we want SS. So we go back down here in the input bar, click parenthesis for a point, s, comma, s, parenthesis, and hit enter. And we get our point c right here, and it says 3, 3, but if we move our mouse over it, we should get, there it is, ss, the formula. And again, if we click on the move button and we move, both b and c will move. c should move out like this along the diagonal because both are s's, and b will move toward the right. Let's see. See how C has moved down here, and B has moved left. And if we make it go out to 4, C has moved out along the diagonal to 4, 4, and B has moved to 4, 0. Let's move it back to 3. And now we need this last point, which if we turned, if we started at 0, 0, it would be no horizontal and up 3, so it would be 0, 3, and since we want to use S, 
We click down here in the input and we type in parenthesis 0 comma s end parenthesis and enter. And now we have that point which should say 0 s, yes. And so all four points, all of these three movable points, this is a fixed point, will move as we move our slider. Whoop, and up, and let's move it back to three and let's make the square. How did we make the square? We clicked on the polygon tool, click once on A, once on B, make sure they shine, they glow, B, C, see how it glows, D, and then once on A again to end it, and we have our polygon, our square. Now let's see what happens when we move it. Oh, and it goes down all the way to just nothing. There's no side. And then we can move it back up all the way to five. And we'll bring it back to four here. And then we'll kind of move in our things here like we did last time. Move that, move these in so we can do some other things. And still see the sides. There's D and A, and we can leave these points as we want or take them outside. 